Savannah Ogwin from Savannah Land 2. Today I had a really cool project for my video. It was super fun and perfect for a baby shower. But I received a phone call last night that a family friend had passed away. So I scrapped everything and decided to make a quick sympathy card. I don't like making these cards. I never know what to put on them. But I wanted to share the process for this one because the new paper smooches roses dies and even the rose stamps in the Lovely Thought stamp set are perfect for sympathy cards. And you'll see this is super simple. I, I like to keep my sympathy cards and thinking of you themes um, extremely clean and simple. So that's what I'm doing. And right now I'm doing what I always do. I'm creating my card base and I've pulled out um, some watercolor paper and I've die cut several of the smaller roses I'm not sure how many I'm going to use. I might just use one, but at least I'll have some extra for later. <laughs> I pull out my silver shimmery delicata ink and I'm going to use that for my sediment. And the sediment is from the spiritual sampler set. There are so many sets from paper smooches that have thinking of you or deepest sympathy with sympathy. They're just perfect. But I use the spiritual sampler for this. And right there I was just marking around my rose die cut so that I knew where to watercolor. Now the watercoloring is simple. I just put some Radiant Neon Electric Purple ink on an acrylic block, added some ink potion number nine, and a bit of water because that's what's in the little bowl, and I've just dried it several times after applying a small layer of ink. This is how I always do my watercoloring, and it's probably not correct, but <laughs> the easiest way I get um, my watercoloring look. And I always pull it to the side and heat set it. You don't see that on the video, but that's how I dry mine. I'm a little impatient. That has not changed over the years. <laughs> and it really works fine. So I'm just adding some color and washing out my brush, and then I will heat set it. Once I like what I've done, I'm going to clean up my area. That also hasn't changed. I'm a neat freak. Got to have a clean area to work on. <laughs> and I pull out some pretty pink posh sequins. I think that this mossy green ones, I thought I would use them as like leaves. It, I know they don't look like leaves, but they would be in place of the leaves. And so I'm just thinking about it and I'm not really sure I'm telling you, sympathy cards are probably one of the hardest things I do. No, I take that back. Working with silver twine and twine in general is just super hard for me. <laughs> and I'm not kidding, I probably cut 10 minutes worth of me twirling that twine around my fingers. I literally couldn't think of what to do. But I don't like what that looks like, so I just pull it to the side and I decide to just stick on the sequins because I know I like those. And if I like the twine, I'll add it later. And I did end up making a single bow using the silver thread. And I added it under my clear, it's called sparkling clear sequence. I think it just added just the right amount of touch, but I still am not sure because I just glued it down and I'm messing with the bow, pulling on the thread. Right there I messed it up. Not sure you can see it. Hopefully no one notices it. Forget I ever said that. <laughs> but anyway, I mess with it probably another five minutes. Still continuing to mess with it. And I say I'm just going to leave it the way it is because I use glossy accents and there's no way I can pull that up without ruining the paper or the project. So just lift it the way it is. I added some glossy accents behind one of my rose dyes. Oh, that's just so beautiful. But I wanted a little bit more, so I'm glad I die cut more roses because I added an extra layer on top of my rose already and that really did add the finishing touch to this card. I'm going to clean my area and then I'm going to pull out some foam dots and add that to the back. Now, these foam dots I've had for probably four or five years. <laughs> I bought them in bulk and I said I need to get rid of these. And I mean like I really need to get rid of them. So I loaded the back of this cardstock. Plus it was watercolored paper so it had warped a little bit. 
But these foam dots I love because they're super sticky. I don't know if you could just tell I couldn't get my finger off. But I do not like them because they're so sticky. So it's a love-hate relationship. So I add my panel to my card and I just think it's beautiful. I think it's just perfect. Now I hope that you're inspired by my sympathy card or that you're inspired to create some of these cards to keep on hand, just in case. And because my card was so simple, I think I'm totally recreating two or three. Although I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that I don't have to use them. <laughs> Please leave a comment below with a link to one of your creations or link up to our Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. I'd love to check out your project. And please keep your fingers crossed because next week I'm hoping I'll have my baby shower gift idea completed. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>